I I'm trying to think, and, and Secret do pick this hero occasionally, but it's usually the Puppy Dazzle like we talk about, or the Elder Titan. Maybe you'll see an Enchantress occasionally, but not so much anymore this patch. Um, so Venge is up there, but it's still there, those couple of heroes for Team Secret beforehand. Has, so. uh, has Secret picked uh, any Chen yet? I don't believe so. I'm pretty sure no. Hmm. I think that hero is still garbage, but that's just me. Mm, you get two creeps at level three, so... A bit better. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think the thing about him is you have to be very effective Whoa. early on. That's a disruptor for Team Secret. They are what so Elder Titan offlane for Misery. I, I mean, think it, I guess it but... has to be. Hmm. I mean, this is quite interesting. I think Elder Titan serves the same function as a support as he does in the offlane tree. You get the levels up a bit quicker in the offlane, but not really a hero that benefits too much from item progression. Once you get that Yule Scepter as well as the Tranquil Boots, you're pretty much set for the entire game. Um, it's so, I, I'm a bit puzzled by this Disruptor pick. I mean, they do have incredible early game teamfight uh, the with these heroes. Wait, did the Sensor come out first, or did the Disruptor come out first? Um... I guess you could argue that Disruptor is like sort of a counter to Centaur to a certain first extent. first pick? Uh, first pick Radiant I believe was, was yes, Secret getting so it. So that means they were second pick in the second phase, so uh, yeah, it, it, it's come out. Okay. Maybe we're just confused. I, I don't know. That that happens from time to time. Listen, it's been a long night for me. I had to wake up a bit yeah. earlier than I, I... There was a, a bit of a schedule change, which, by the way, I do want to yes, apologize so for that. Um, nothing that the casters really could do about it. We just kind of got notified a bit late. I should have let everyone know beforehand. And I tweeted about it like, oh, the game's starting soon. And then it, like, didn't start, so... Mm, but no big deal. No worries. Possibly... I think we could actually see a Terry Blade here. Broken Terry, Terry Blade... Blade. I mean, what, a, what are they going to pick here? They need a hard carry. I, I would most likely say the Anti-Mage, but that was banned out in the last phase. I think Anti-Mage fits this draft pretty perfectly. It's quite good against Naga Siren in the mid-game. You know, Terrorblade's not a hero that actually does too well against Naga Siren, especially going into the late game, but yeah. definitely has that mid-game ability to just win the game. You could go PA again, maybe, but I don't know, after that last mm. game... After that last game, I'd be a little hesitant. I mean, PA, I think, still works because what you can get that What about Ember? Mod Pack stated Ember and, and Shadow. Oh, Ember. Yeah, I think that, that could work as well. That is a hero that Crook. Yeah, it's no. going to be terrible. You, your first was correct, yeah, as always, yep. my friend. So, good stuff. Good stuff. I, I Entering game number two. Terrorblade, uh, I've actually seen them run this exact same trial lane before. The Terrorblade Ancient Apparition Disruptor. It's quite powerful. What they end up doing is... Once Disruptor gets level 3, he's going to have 2 points in Glimpse. They're going to just Glimpse back the offlaner. Terrorblade's going to click his Metamorphosis. Ancient Apparition is going to give everyone some bonus damage, and he's just going to die in 2 hits. It's yeah. actually... It's the terrifying. amount of damage that comes out from these 3 heroes is pretty insane. Sedoi is going to have to be very careful yet again, because it is going to be BZZ playing the safe lane Centaur Warrunner, which is not a huge surprise. Uh, you put the centaur down there. He's not getting any farm. Jakiro maybe gets a CS or two once the wave is under his tower. But for the most part, I don't think any hero in that bottom lane is getting anything for Virtus Pro. So it's going to come down again, stacking or rotating and getting kills. And Fiora, that's not necessarily easy to do. So, um, I fear for the bottom laner. I fear for for Sedoi yet again. So we'll see how it goes. But he is TPing. He's going to do the good old TP up and and back out as quickly as possible in fact he's his team is consistently pinging and Jadab is like get that get that freaking war down and, and just gtfo seriously don't die please he does get it down and he'll back off i think maybe he was telling him where to place it like yeah, the yeah, exact because yeah, yeah. that's yep. uh i think the furthest right you can actually place it where it still blocks we've talked about counter warning the radiant side as well you know what, uh, this, this is going to get counter-warded, yeah. actually. Yeah. They have NAA. Because um, the, the way you counter-ward on Radiant, you just counter-ward on both sides. So the only word that you actually end up missing is this one in the center. And and nobody really does this one anymore. I mean, they um, mind game it. Yeah, it, it depends. <laughs> Sometimes, Some I mean, occasionally it gets placed just because they know the common words, D word spot is the left and right. Dude, we've had this exact same conversation. That's okay. Deja vu. That's all right. Yeah, exactly. It's fine. I mean, for the new viewers. Still, though. Right now, we are getting into the game. Let's get into some introductions again. I took Virtus for last game. I'll take Secret this game. Team Secret. 
your European squad. Central European, I should say, for the most part. We've got Misery playing the Elder Titan. In the middle lane, it is going to be S4 playing your Night Stalker. I was looking at the bottom rune spot. I, I was hoping there wasn't going to be a skirmish, and there wasn't. Uh, down bottom, Puppy playing the Ancient Apparition. Big Daddy no Tail playing the Disruptor with the nice, cool mount, Valkul. I love the Disruptor mounts. And down bottom, Kuroki, Terrorblade with the Arcana. This man knows his cosmetics. He's got his own freaking Rubik set. He's got a Terrorblade Arcana. He is good to go. He's Gucci. Let's go. And then on Dire, on the side of Virtus Pro, we're going to have BZZ is perfect, playing the safe lane center. Going to be looking towards a fast blink dagger. Jotam's going to be playing the support eventual spirit. In the mid lane, we're going to have G on oh, the... Bottom lane, bottom lane. Yol's getting caught out. One more right click should do the job. No tail should get the kill. No! He's going to deny gonna himself. Deny himself. <laughs> oh, yo, What a play. Oh, sorry to cut you off there, my That's friend. Fine. But continue on. So in the mid lane, we're going to have G on the Naga Siren. Off laning is going to be Sedoya on the Jakiro. And as we just saw, uh, Yol is going to be playing the Ogre. Forgot his name for just a second. Now, he's going to have a long trip back down bottom as he does not buy a TP. He does have boots, so we'll get there a little bit faster, but still. Um, for now, we'll see how the Night Striker pans out mid. Again, we're going to wait till that first night time. Obviously, his CS and his... Uh, sustainability in this lane is going to be difficult until maybe he gets his bottle, which is actually coming out now. Spams up his void. But G can just come up and riptide him um, pretty much on cooldown as long as he continues to use his bottle well. So, I actually think G is going to have a fantastic time in this mid lane. It's like in the 1v1 matchup is term in terms of CSing. G's oh, Naga is uh, quite good. Meanwhile, they're going to jump back onto Sedoi. He is going to get caught out. He is literally... Right on top of three heroes, right click down, no tail, that's your first blood, the Radiant Courier, in the meantime, Yol, he makes up for his death, he snipes the Courier, and that was a full bottle in the mid lane, what a disaster coming out now for S4, and G is going to have even wow. better of a time in this mid lane. That is so huge, that is, uh, that is better than killing this offlaner, by far, not only do they get a thousand gold, but killing the bottle is so important to these mid heroes. Look at, he's at 200 life, 40 mana. He might actually have to return to base. And not only that, but G is not missing many creeps here. Dyer's Courier Dyer's is going to go down, though. That might have been somewhere else. <laughs> Meanwhile, they get the kill top lane. Um, what's happening in this game? Wait, How did G that Courier have die? Bottle either. Okay, this is just getting clowny. Both bottles dead. Boys, let's, uh, let's tone it down a bit. He's Too like, I death. see you kill my courier, I'll raise you your own courier. Kill. Please report to PETA, animal abuse, bottom lane, they're going to catch out Yod's Sedoi. Glimpse back in, TP rotation from Yol, he might use his fire blast if he has it, he does. Kuroki, but the ice fast, the cold feet coming in, Sedoi is going to fall. Kuroki will take that kill. Good cold feet from Puppy to make sure that he stays in place, and they just bash him down with the right clicks their auto attacks and destroy him so this is quite kill. interesting they actually go for reflection on kuroki the last time i saw them do this lane they actually opted for zero points in reflection but now that i think about it it was against the dark seer so that makes complete sense but with this combination if they can glimpse them into reflection range and then they combo it with the cold feet they're going to get an additional amount of stun duration so i actually like this decision to get you know just that value point in reflection for the slow to guarantee the cold feet proc. Mm. Yeah, that's and that's something that can actually help them along getting a kill. And with an aggro, or I guess it's not really, it's just the defensive try lane with an aggressive capability that they have. No reason not to get something that'll help get kills. S4, you might have thought that maybe the bottle kill or the courier kill onto G would have helped out, and it did a bit, but S4 is still yeah, taking a heck of a lot well. of damage. Down bottom, they're going to glimpse back Sedoi again, Kinetic Field, and the feed from the off lane Jakiro, it seems to be real. It's happening, it's a problem. Misery picks up Haste Rune, G's getting punched, uh, staple gunned if you will. Please stop hitting me in the back of the head, that hurts. I think he needs to leave the off lane. He needs to uh, go jungle, like just start stacking, trying to clear the jungle camps with the liquid fire as well as the dual breath, because he is not accomplishing anything in this off lane. And it's not like these are the best rotating supports. I mean, sometimes you don't maybe want to leave the offlane so early because you want to at least keep the supports there. It keeps your mid hero safe. But, I mean, these aren't supports that are going to gank mid. 
No, not particularly. Uh, I mean, sure they might, but it, it's not the most effective gank. S4 is finally getting back on pace. His bottle is crowing back to base as they do with the flying courier. And a first night usually is an indication of how the game is going to go for the Night Stalker. Maybe not this game. He's caught back up in CS as, of course, the Naga Siren had to, I think, head home. So they're pretty even in CS now, and this could have been a lot worse for S4. Had that courier snipe not gone the way of Secret, this game could have gotten out of control in terms of the mid lane matchup. Mm -hmm. Uh, yo, hello. Hello? Glimpse back into the river. Kinetic field, um, not there. That fire blast actually saved Yol's life, I think. Yeah, that was not the glimpse that Notail was looking for. <laughs> He's like, a little bit unfortunate. He's like, but, can you just go like here? Not not over here, it'd be great. Uh, Top lane, Misery? He's pretty tanky. They can't bring him down with these he's two really years. He's fast as well. He's at 416 movement speed right now. Yeah, with the spirit, beats. though, man. Yeah, and the tranks as well. Yeah. It looks like Sidori has finally rotated into the jungle. I started feeding in that offlane. I think Yol will actually fare a bit better in this offlane. He's definitely super tanky with the seven base armor. He might actually not even die to uh, one of these combos that they've been killing Chikiro with. I don't know. Ancient apparition, chilling yeah. touch with uh, metamorphosis. Actually, That's... he went two points in cold feet, so he would actually just. Oh. Yeah, it's a two yeah, second stun up and then get kinetic field and he would die. And no tail glimpse. In range? He doesn't uh, have vision. Couldn't get it. Well, we continue onward here as S4 has not rotated once. Speak of the devil, I I literally just said that. He rotates top and Well, who's he gonna find? Maybe Jotum? They're gonna go for the, the big kill on BZZ. Nope, they rotate nope. over. Jotum's gonna get Jotum. spotted out. Wow, that boy did a lot of damage. Stampede tries to help him out, but does absolutely nothing. Down bottom, they might have used it for Yol to have him survive instead he goes down to the right click of Kuroki no tail and puppy yep. and uh yeah I mean no hero is safe uh, against this destructive yeah, I mean, combo it was, cert it was certainly harder to kill Yol than it has been to kill this Shakira but S4 please magic missile mass rotations top body block from Jotam S4 is like I'm pretty speed I'm just gonna walk around you pulls the creep wave in the process BZZ will try to cut off his path of retreat he's actually creating so much space right now yeah look at how many heroes are chasing him three in fact just Chasing was, after S4, and S4 is like, I could just run away even without a TP scroll. Yeah, that was two TPs, uh, so that's a very important play from Secret, just to buy a lot of space, and they're doing extremely well in this early game, especially compared to the last game. Yeah, this is, uh, last game it was looking Terrible. grim, at, especially for S4. S4 gets involved early now, they get a lot of farm for Terribly, for Kuroki, mm -hmm. who's... Uh, up to 44 CS at seven and a half minutes, 1400 gold. In fact, wow, big dive mid lane. Oh. No tail, get a kinetic field, get a stave off the aggression. Double edge, wow, BZZ got that kill. I don't even have my camera on it, but he gets the kill using the creep wave. That's huge. Yeah, I'm surprised he was actually able to get that double edge off. That's one of those uh, Volvo moments where you're like, uh, he didn't get any closer to me. Max range. How could he cast this spell still? Uh, but he does go ahead and pick up the Blink Dagger. This is a really important item for VP, especially on the center. He's going to be able to set up a lot of kills, especially with the Jakiro. Um, you can, it sets up a nice, easy ice path so they can get that chain stun That's effect. Not bad, man. Eight and a half minutes. Yeah, it's it is safe lane, but... Stomp, Jotam is going to get hit up, and he S4 just... picks up the haste rune, the S4 rune, although it's at eight minutes into the game. It's a bit late for it, but he gets it regardless. Yeah, I actually think he's going for a Midas. Uh, We've seen like... this from Night Stalkers, I think, in a lot of the uh, the games. Mm. They want to stay relevant. Sadoi comes back, kinetic Did field, but always... where's Kuroki? Uh, Cold Feet is going to proc. No, oh. he, it proc'd, I think, inside the base. No, he actually TP'd, and that just takes it off of him immediately. Interesting. I thought he was going to die there. I thought the Cold Feet was maybe going to proc him at the very end of that, but Cold Feet does take four seconds and TP is only two and a half, so. It is daytime. Now, remember the darkness change obviously makes it so that uh, the day night cycle still does uh, occur while darkness is up and about, so. Yep. You, you can use it in daytime without as much punishment. And there's the Midas now for S4, and we'll see what he builds Radiant's into next. We saw... Uh, does he... I haven't actually Radiant's seen him play this The last this build, I can't remember off the well, back. He used, I, I can't he used to go Armlet, but... but I'm not sure that he goes that anymore. 
I don't think in this game. Blink stop going into S4, Mac oh, fire, and he's that's... dead. Uh, Nighttime wouldn't have saved him there. That was just a really well executed gank from BCZ yeah. with the blink dagger and a good ice path macro pyre. So, yeah, they need to continue creating space and getting kills with BZZ's blink dagger. There is an mm -hmm. AA ult going into the top lane. Are they gonna be able to defend this song? They glimpse on G. G is like, we actually could kill um, No Tail. There's, there's nobody here. No Man's Land. No Tail's dead. Blink, good. Kinetics, field, and static storm, but that's not going to save his life, unfortunately. Yold fire blast. And once BCC taking a lot of tower hits, Magic Missile comes in. Mystery, Mystery caught out. Riptide, I believe, might be available. Actually, no mana for it. S4 looking for Yol. He does have uh, the darkness. He's going to pop the void. Silence goes I in, Yul's gonna TP, and oh. uh, Misery did no. have that Astral, and that's the only reason he goes down. Without Astral, he had to yeah. soul rank for that, by the way. He wouldn't have had the mana otherwise, so good play for Misery to secure that kill, and it's now 8-4. to four. Nah, I didn't think about the soul ring. I thought he was gonna actually live there. I was pretty close. If we look, go ahead and take a look at this Naga Siren, up to 2200 gold, so... Doing pretty well for himself, keeping pace with the Terrorblade. And in the early game, I think Terrorblade can outfarm Naga just a little bit, but pretty soon the Naga is just going to completely outpace the Terrorblade. And then there's this item called Radiance. Yep. And then you just lose all the farm advantage that you once had, unless you take down all of the towers as your Terrorblade. Which is not, uh, not the most difficult thing for Kuroki to accomplish mm -hmm. once he gets his Mantis style especially. But the, the Illusion nerf will hit both of these heroes somewhat hard in this game to the tower damage, I, sh I, sh I, sh I should uh, clarify, so. All right, top lane, maybe an engagement, gonna break out. Misery getting chased, Yol, Fire Blast, just in range, Ignite, Macro Pyre, Ice Path, and he's stuck. Void comes in from S4, but G still chasing, gets the kill. Up to 3,000 gold, nice pick off, Ice Blast sailing in. BZZ gets killed down bottom in the meantime, Glimpse back in, Kinetic Field, G in trouble. Can't song even if he had it, he is gonna fall. Ice Path on it too, big kill. Can't buy anything before he dies. S4 getting jumped out. BZZ rotates top. Double edge gets the kill. Three down. One on the side of Virtus Pro. BZZ is all over the goddamn map. I'll tell you what. That was an extremely important rotation from BZZ. It sort of set, shuts down S4's momentum at this point. Had he gotten that kill, he would have gotten a double kill, I believe. And that could have been the start of the snowball for the Night Sucker, but... Really nice rotation to not only save his ally, but prevent S4 get from kill? getting another kill. Ice Blast, that will secure it. If it hits, it's not going to. Just off the mark from Puppy BZZ. They do get it with Misery and his Astral. Now they're looking for BZZ. There's going to be the Earth Splitter. This is, this trying to run dead. away, and he is going to take one more auto attack from Misery. The Staple Gun. And people wonder why this hero is picked so often. Natural Order level 3, Astral level 4. The offlane Elder Titan starting to pay dividends for a secret as they claw their way back into this game. Actually, still oh, relatively ahead. even. S4 now going out of John and bottom lane. Silence, good silence as the Magic Missile was going to come momentarily. And S4 gets a solo kill, and that will pop up his farm even. Even more and now maybe the snowball starts yeah do you think he goes for the armlet i know that was his go-to item before i know armlet has been nerfed since then i th actually think it's quite unlikely that he goes for an armlet i'm trying but to I'm remember not what, sure what he goes for maybe uh, uh, heaven's halberd i know that's pro a popular or item virtus pro polar were playing this yesterday one of the mm -hmm. teams and i can't remember what their first item was Oh, Earn it's Ags. There was Ags. another okay. item in between that, though, that I'm missing. Oh, I guess Might Ags is really strong when you remove all their vision. That's Could actually... Blade Mail? Maybe? Ags I... makes a lot of sense. Ags is very good. I will agree with that. S4 but... could be in trouble. No, he backs out just in time. His spider senses were tingling. As they always do. He actually picks up a Gloves of Haste. Maybe we're going to see a Maelstrom so that yeah. he can keep up his farm. They could also oh, be an armor, but Ooh, the Invis Rune is not being used. He didn't pop that off. Double Edge coming in, Magic Missile. They've expended everything. Stampede, Invis, they have no vision, oh, no detection from they John. They have no detection. That's a little so unfortunate. So that Invis Rune saves his life, probably. And it looks like it's, it's going to be a Maelstrom. I think this serves two purposes. Uh, it's good against Naga's Illusions, at least until the heart comes out. Speak of the Devil. Glimpse. Is she going to survive? Oh, uh, no. She is not going to. That song was about to come out, but she would have died regardless to the Thunderstrike. Astral is still on top of her as well, so. 
Dyer's top yep. tower. They are. Under they're attack. doing a good job. They've shut her down twice. She does have a relic now, though. It's, uh, I believe, on the courier. <laughs> Meanwhile, S4 goes down to Jotun, but he realizes the entire team is coming after him. And he backs away. Wave of Terror. I don't think that got him vision. Meanwhile, they're going to go on to Yule or Sidoy, excuse me. Kinetic Field pops. Thunderstrike goes as well. BZZ Stampede on cooldown. No blink tag rather as he just pops it off. And Secret are just kind of running circles around Virtus Pro now, which gives them so much space for the Kuroki to farm. We haven't really looked at he what he's been doing, but he's been in the jungle. Now he's pressing the tower. Silence from S4. Fire Blast comes in. He might be in trouble. He does have Darkness, by the way, but Blink Stomp. He does Midas, and, uh, and that's all you can ask for in that situation. Just get your Midas off and you know, hope Kuroki takes the tower down, which he most certainly does. And his Manta Style, now done. More than enough gold for his ultimate orb. I mean, he is creating a lot of space. He forces, you know, three heroes to chase him around for what seemed like almost 30 seconds because he started near the tier one tower top. So he's been doing a pretty good job making a lot of space for Kuroki on this Terrorblade to farm, but at some point, Secret just get outscaled. So they need to make sure that they starve the map from VP. They need to take this top tier one tower you know, maybe look for some deep wards, get a smoke gank or two, and then really start putting on the pressure with the Terror Blade as far as the tier two towers are concerned. You think even with the Elder Titan, they get outscaled this game? I mean, they also have pretty mm. good, well, I guess you talk about scaling supports, Ogre Magi, and even Jotun to a certain extent, they can provide a lot. Ag Scepter on Ogre, one of the best. I so. mean, I guess it depends on how the fights go, but it's just so difficult to deal with the Naga illusions. Because you need a lot of, you need single target damage and AOE damage to deal with them. And they will start taking over the game pretty soon if they're not careful. Static Storm, BZZ, Kinetic Field as well. And he was in silence for a moment there, it looked like, until the waiting, or excuse me, the silence, uh, the Crippling Fear came out from S4. Big Daddy does have a Kinetic Field to pop Is off. Is BZZ going to live here? I don't think so. His Blink's up. Okay, I'm wrong. BZZ blinks out. No tail. Can't get vision. He has no idea where they are. And BZZ is just going to be able to run away. And this gives more space top for Virtus Pro to take down the tier 1 tower. Uh, that was very close. I think he might have had the glimpse up. I'm not sure. Well, yeah, that's crazy. No. no, I actually think um, this is the best build that S4 can go this game. The Maelstrom. It's going to... I really think on heroes like Night Sucker, you need an item that helps you farm. It's a hero that's really good with a lot of farm, but usually you fall off and farm because you have no items that help you farm. And during the day, you farm extremely slow because you lose that 90 attack speed that you get from Hunter in the night, so... I think this is a good choice coming out from S4. And now he will be able to take a Dark Troll Summoner stack and... Well, once he gets his Mithril Hammer, it'd be a lot faster. And in fact, he just looks at the Dark Troll Summoner camp. He's got to stack it first, and he's doing it slowly, but the he'll Radiance get there eventually. The is finally online. So now G's farm is just going to explode. There is a, currently a 30 CS lead for Kuroki, but that's not going to last long. He's got to go to the jungle. He's got to spread his illusions out like a goddamn plague, and then he's going to overtake the, the CS lead and maybe the net worth lead. Is there a timer currently on Secret right now? Yeah, it's uh, Naga's four items. When Naga gets four items, I think Secret loose. Uh, well, I mean, they can still win, but the game gets extremely difficult. Terrorblade does not do too well against Naga in the super late game. There's going to be a large window when he has Manta Scotty, and it's going to be very difficult for VP to fight, but once the Naga gets, I think, to Manta, Radiance, Diffusal, and Heart, um, I think it's going to be very difficult for Secret to take any more fights. And at that point, they might be looking for other alternatives, either through objectives, smoking. They want to stay relevant now, and as for during the nighttime, he's going to have to make a lot of space. You can see Misery and No-Tail already going to work top tier 1 tower. Might be a trade, as Liquid Fire from Sedoi is going out of the tier 1 bottom. Ice Blast is going to sail through, but... That'll only hit onto Sedoi. Uh, BZZ might have been spotted. Actually, Jotam got hit by the trail. She is just sitting mid for whatever reason. He does have Song at his level 2. And Tier 1 trade's coming out for uh, both teams. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. 
Yeah, and the reason why Naga I think is so good against Chairblade is because when he has his his army of illusions, SG might actually just get caught out here. His, wow! Wow! He melts. Level four natural order. S four at the nighttime darkness. The void coming in. So yeah, he does go ahead and pick up his bots. So yeah, the reason why uh, Naga does so well against Chairblade is because you have a nuke on attached to your illusion, so you just send your illusions one at a time into the Terrorblade army, and you just spam the nuke. And it pretty much kills them. It also has the Radiance Burn as well, so it does a lot of damage to Terrorblade's illusions. So Virtus Pro, not really too worried. 71% win rate. That is quite the statistic there. No Tail has uh, a couple of really good heroes that he plays. I mean, he plays a lot of heroes but there's a very few heroes that he has that are just absolutely dominant we talk about number one is io i think is his first and, and foremost although his elder titan is jockeying for that that top spot and then disruptors up there now too i've seen multiple games where he's picked this hero and it's actually made me a huge disruptor fan i've liked the hero before he started playing it but when you get a when you accrue a lead uh or you stay uh with the pack as a disruptor you get arcane boots and maybe another item uh, mm -hmm. And specifically levels, you can start doing work. There's actually a dagon pickup on Misery. This is pretty interesting. I'm not. I don't think I've actually ever seen this on an Elder Titan. He doesn't even have a Yules right now, so not looking for that Yules uh, Astro Spirit Echo Stomp combination that we see very often. What he do you think about this dagon? Damage. It synergizes well with the zero, I think. I don't know if they need the setup. They've been catching heroes out with all of their abilities. Uh, specific, specifically Glimpse and um, obviously Kinetic Field. Void, this has so. been used. Uh, I don't. Does VP actually want to take this fight? Uh, looks like no. Sure Silence did. goes. BZZ does have CP. Jotam is going to get killed. Maybe Song comes in, actually. And G just says, okay. let's, let's hit the reset button. Let's keep you away. Let's make sure we don't lose anything. And this is smart. Virtus Pro, they don't have to take fights, I don't think. They can maybe try to take objectives, yeah, but as not. long as they're creating space for G, it's fine. Yeah, G also TPs in the mid lane and starts to split push. So that was okay. a pretty nice play from them. Vision is actually ridiculous when darkness is popped. They can't see five yeah, feet in front of them. Yeah, you can't see anything. Yul's gonna get stampeded, but maybe to no avail. Blink Stomp coming in. BZZ gets silenced by No Tail with a huge static storm, honestly. Earth Splitter goes through. BZZ is gonna fall. Double kill for Misery. Again, Misery is starting to put in work on this Elder Titan. Radiant and more so than anything else, the No Tail silence was absolutely huge there. Yeah. So Secret are starting to take a commanding lead in this game. They're finding a lot of pickoffs. This Night Stalker is just doing so much work, especially with the darkness. You can't see anything. Radiant Once the darkness is popped, is it almost feels like during that amount of time you have to hold hands, sit at towers. Yeah, I would. Are you serious? Uh, I'd be like, I would not be going past my tier two at that at this point in the game. Even if I had tier ones up, I'd be. It's pretty ridiculous. The Scotty is, is look now for completed. Reflection. Yeah, he has Scotty as well. Comes back. That is some range coming in from Big Daddy No Tail. Stomp's gonna connect onto one. No Tail's gonna come in. They're looking for this kill and they're gonna find it. Sedoy's gonna get right click down. Scotty and Kuroki just immediately turns away. He knew he got that kill. Backing away from the explosion like a boss. Yul getting caught out. Reflections available. S4 comes in. Good silence from S4 onto BZZ. He is not gonna let that stampede come out, nor the stomp. Huge damage from Kuroki. The Elder Titan popping up the natural order, giving him so much amplified damage. They're gonna destroy Yul as well, coming through. Four dead coming out from Virtus Pro. And they're gonna lose to Disruptor, but that is it. Kuroki hasn't even used Sunder. He's styling on Virtus Pro now, and they're going to take another Tier 2 tower, actually the first of the game, as the Illusions come through. And they don't even give a damn about this nerf. This tower is toast. Yeah, Secret are doing a really good job using this timing window that they have with the Scotty Manta. I mean, yeah, the Scotty Manta on the Terror Blade. He's just so much stronger than everyone on the side of VP at the moment. This is what we talked about. This is what they need to do. G is not at a point where he can specifically man fight, split push rat, or farm to a rate where he's actually comfortable. Yeah, I think uh, once the Manta and Heart come out, it's going to be a lot more difficult from Secret. Secret need a large advantage when that happens. And they're slowly starting to accrue it. I think they gained about 4,000 net worth during that push, so... And the additional map control that is granted from killing that mid tower.
Yeah, that gave them so much in terms of net worth, like you mentioned. And well, this is a huge sec. Well, this is one way to get back into it if you're a Virtus Pro. Give your Naga Siren a lot of the gold. However, G is taking a lot of the damage here. For those of you just joining us, the cliff notes for this game. Right now, Secret are in a commanding lead, but if uh, G can get a couple more items, this game could swing back in their favor. They have the supports to work with. They have the initiation. BZZ might need a BKB this game. He's been getting silenced almost every single time he's trying to jump in. I think that would be a smart choice. Good ice blast. He's actually dagoning um, illusions. He has a dagon three right now. I didn't. That's actually one thing that dagon's actually pretty decent against Naga because you can just get rid of one illusion. I mean, it is only one illusion, but when uh, Misery played with Mouse, this is something uh -huh. that they would do very often. We we talk about Pycat, and he was the biggest proponent of this, but it feels like it translated to every single person that played with that old Mouse roster. Just buy Dagon. It's a good item. It's, I mean, it's pretty it is good. a good item. Especially when you get... Uh, Dagon 5 is actually a ridiculous item. 15 second cooldown for a 900, or 800 damage nuke. I mean, it does... Co it's the most costly item in the game. So. For a reason. Yep. Hey man, if you want to zap people, you gotta invest. Get that trust fund going. Uh, BKB now picked up for the Night Stalker. So two BKBs just came out right in a row for Radiance Secret. Brokey has his, and, and we generally don't think of Terrorblade as a BKB carrier. Um, mm. But you can say the same for a lot of agility carries. Mm. This is one game that works really well for it. I think Terrorblades usually end up getting BKB, either third or fourth item. Way to blow my spot. Darkness goes Stampede as well. Ice path, Static Storm, BZZ is having a rough time getting anything off this game. He's not dead yet, but there's the Dagon to clean him up. They don't even care about the Crimson Guard. Jotam gets a right click down. S4 chasing after Sedoi. He will make it up to the high ground. All the meanwhile, G has to do the dirty work, the split push, almost the rat to a certain extent, but... He did cut um, the wave in the middle lane, so... After these two creeps are dead, they have no creeps left. Well, that's not going to matter as Grokey has three Manta, or three rather, Metamorphosis, excuse me, five Metamorphosis Illusions, plus himself. S4 Ice Path, Macro Pirate, Fire Blast, it does not have his BKB already used. Kinetic Field's going to go, they will take the Tier 3 Tower, it looks like. Now do they back up? Range Rack is all from G, realizes they might need to fight here, but he's looking for S4, is he going to find him? Ice Path goes in, S4 is going to fall first, Magic Missile on a no-tail. Kuroki right-clicking some heroes down, but he's looking for the racks instead. Now his Metamorphosis is over, no-tail just going to TP away, swap out, no-tail. Radiance Burn going, Riptide as well, G has no ensnare, they still get the kill regardless. Now they're going for Kuroki, he's got Sunder, he looks like he might be able to get it off if they turn on him. They do take three, however, for Virtus Pro, they are defending. Yule Scepter, Ice Path, can they burst him down Kuroki's quickly enough? Okay. Will he get the Sunder off? Absolutely not. Secret. Lose four heroes, British Pro, great defense. They keep their racks, and G gets a lot of that gold going his way. Let's check it out. Oh boy, yeah, 1700 just, gold for G. They stayed a little bit too long. Uh, Kuroki's metamorphosis was cooling down. I think after getting that tier 3 tower, they should have, well, in hindsight, they should have backed off for sure, but getting a bit too overconfident with the metamorphosis cooldown, and it's sort of like when you play Krav. You know, as that bolt starts to tick down, you really want to make sure that you get into a safe position when it comes off. And that was not the case this time for Secret. They actually end up giving away four kills as well as a Roshan, so a huge turnaround from VP. That is extremely significant for this point in the game. G gets that much closer to his Manta plus Heart. And we've got ourselves a game again. Now you talked about it, man. If they could get to this situation where G is... is He's got these items up and ready to go. There's certainly uh, an opportunity for them, but the thing about the lineup for Secret is that it's not just Kuroki doing it. You look at the net worth, and S4 is up there, and even Misery as well because of the Dagons and how well he's farmed, and more importantly, the kills he's gotten. So it seems like G versus the world at this point. Yep. I mean, he might actually do it, though, because... They don't, they don't have too many solutions for this Naga in the super late game. Once he gets to six items, I think they have a real problem. And that is an Ags now done, so maybe not so much Tree versus the world. This skill is coming from Wait. Ogre Magi. Oh, you can glimpse illusions. That's actually really interesting. I didn't know that it uh, pops them. Yeah, it kills them, yep. Yeah. That's a lot like the Mana Drain, I believe. Hmm. So. 
Uh, pretty short cooldown as well at this point. Actually, 18 seconds. Not quite, is it like, what, five second cooldown for Mana Drain from Lion? Um, at his max level or something like that? I actually have no idea. I don't want to. I don't want to put Mott Pax on the case because I feel like uh, he's got better stats for us than that. But that is not something that I'm familiar with. I mean, who actually knows the cooldown of a spell that doesn't? Uh, it's not like a spell that you need to know the cooldown of. Hey man, I'm sure you're someone the theory crafter here. Someone knows it, not me. Looks like BZZ is working towards a BKB. Um, that's going to be a really important item. He's been having a lot of difficulties in these fights, getting off the hoof stomp as well as the stampede because No Tail has been extremely on point with his static storms. So, this is going to be a very important item for BZZ. It also Speaking prevents of a lot of the magical damage coming out from the side of Secret, which, honestly, the majority of their damage right now is magical aside from Terrorblade's right clicks. The AT is all magical. Night Stalker's pretty much the faceless void. Maelstrom doing a lot of the work. He does have some right clicks, but... And then, of course, these two support heroes doing just complete magical damage at this point. Uh, but Kuroki does... When we say physical damage, he does a shit ton of it, so that's the one concern. However, you're right. I mean, BZZ, the big thing is the silences. He cannot... Cannot initiate because he's getting silenced half the time, so... She is level 16 with level 2 song. What happened? Stats what level? What happened, buddy? He has five stats levels. Of course, he only has one level in his stair, but... Yeah. Might have just put an extra point in that snare axe or step level didn't, accidentally. He must have just not realized he was level 16 yeah. and just autopiloted. That can happen from time to time. Yeah, it does happen every once in a while. 16 to 17 is not the worst in the world either. He can He's actually very close to 17, so yeah. he, as long as he gets there before they push the base, he's fine. What does he have on the career? Anything? Reaver? Okay, he's actually got a heart and buyback, I believe. Um, no, he just bought that Reaver, excuse me. I thought he had the Reaver with, like, the 5,000 gold, but no. Picks up the Reaver, 2,000 gold. He's enough for the heart, but he wants to have buyback, I'm yeah, sure. he wants buyback, yep. It's very important, uh, that they don't lose the game within the next 5 to 10 minutes. So keeping this buyback is very smart. How far to BZZ's BKB? Looking at about 500 more gold. Any other notable item progressions for VP? Jotam actually picks up a Blink Dagger on this Vengeful Spirit. Not something we see too much. Is that a byproduct of him farming or him being involved in kills? Probably the latter. Uh, no, he's not the one farming. Yol is on the Ogre. He's actually the 5 position support. So, buying wards, in fact, he has sentries and observers. He did yep. go brown boots. He does have a wand, however, so... Still pretty farmed. The dream of every pub MMR uh, ranked mm -hmm. bench getting a blink dagger and uh, the only are now position. completed on to S4. Also another huge item pickup. There it is. Song oh, goes. Gee. He has to pop it off. Did he have level three song during that? No, uh, he did not. He was no, on he 17. Didn't. So that's actually Yol, an enormous stampede, deal. Stampede, silence, Nelstrom proc, glimpse back, TP, and hello. How are you? Goodbye. Good to see you again. Staple gun to the face. You're dead. It's like the most BM way to die. Just getting right clicked down by an Elder Titan. And all of a sudden, that mistaken point that's not in Song of the Siren is actually a huge deal now. I thought for sure he was getting level 17 by the time that it uh, came to this, but... He would have Song again in 10 seconds. Instead, it's 80. That's actually or, awful. Sorry, 20 seconds. Regardless, this Rax is gone. Melee Rax, Toast, Range Rax, no Glyph. They can't defend this. Oh, it's actually being uh, backdoor back protected. protected, I believe. Oh, and they have no creeps. No creep wave coming wow, in. Wow, so G making a huge play. Uh, the Naga Siren strikes there. again in the middle lane. They lose the range wow. racks, but a small I price to for pay. I thought sure they were going to get a rack set of this with that. Because he doesn't have a sleep. I thought for sure they were going to get racks, but G cuts the creeps, kills the entire wave with the Riptide and the Radiance, and... 17 is now done, so Song will be 60 second cooldown from well, here on out. And his heart dodging should be done. There. His heart, uh, his recipe's flying out of the Courier. Is this yeah. enough? You talked about these items. Does he need a Diffusal Blade, uh, or...? I mean, he still needs another item. Yeah. Probably the Butterfly. I think, uh, you go either Butter or Diffusal next. S4 pops the BKB and they could swap him, but Jotam blink, maybe? No. 
Ice Blast is gonna come in. Connects into all three. Virtus Pro, they're gonna be frostbitten for a bit. They're gonna get chased down. Kinetic Field, no tail looking for a glimpse target. He might find Jotam, will not, no vision. He's still chasing though. He wants a goddamn glimpse and he's not gonna find it, unfortunately. Maybe he will, just kidding. Kinetic Field, Jotam, dig into wow. death. Zap, zap, says Misery. Hello, how are you? It's just that easy, man. Glimpse, dig in. Goodbye. He knock over his terribly illusion battle. The war that never ends. 22,000 net worth for both carry. Butterfly not completed for Kuroki. Uh, that will be, I imagine, G's next item, like you mentioned. Still has 2.8k gold in the bank again, saving for buyback. We're in for a long one. This next Roshan could be very important as well. Although VP being on Dire will have a bit more control, as well as they have Avenge as well. Have VP turned the corner though is the question. Hmm. Not yet. No. I, I mean, it's still possible for them to win. I'm just interested to see how this late game unfolds. I think VP clearly have an advantage with the uh, Naga once they get 6 slots, but... It just takes one one team fight from Secret and the whole base is going to be destroyed. And that's it's a tightrope walk if you're ready to sprow. Yep. Oh, easy no. actions. BKB, BKB for no tail. Can he get the kill? No, oh. they're going to come in and Yol just pops the multicast, but he's going to try to TP away and he might live. No, he takes too, too much damage. Misery and S4 combining up, hammering home and getting the kill on that tanky bad boy, the Ogre Magi. Yeah, unfortunately, he's not tanky enough, nor is he bad boy enough. G, top lane, clearing out the illusions of the Terrorblade. Brokey making his home in the top jungle, as he continues to be a nuisance. And now the rest of Secret will group up bottom and looking for the tier 2 tower as well. Yeah, they're also Roshan. checking Rush. It is up in 30 seconds, and perhaps less. <clears throat> so G continuing to spread his illusions everywhere. To try to push I out all the way. the BKB off. He does. S4 now going with the Void. Silence coming in. Ice Blast Dagon. Sedoi, they blow up two. BZZ is going to get chased down. Crimson Guard pop, but Glimpse back. Stomp onto two. BKB down for 18 seconds. Big kinetic field though from No Tail. Saw comes in, and that will save BZZ's life. He was, however, cold feet did no proc coming in. BKB pop. Now they go with Kuroki. Easy to it kill. There's going to be the Fire Blast. S4 getting caught, but no damage to kill him. And they take down the tier 2 tower. Three heroes dead. Buyback status. Nobody has it for Vernus Pro. Uh, G and Yol still alive, but the rest of the squad does not have this buyback. And this should be a tier 3 tower at the least. And G is not yeah. going to be able to cut the creep wave in Rax. time. Rax is going to fall for certain here. At least the tier 3. One building will fall. Probably two. Kuroki, yeah, dag he's going to go for it. They dag in the first illusion, glimpse the second illusion, so he's actually only left with one illusion from his mirror images. Flip's going to go, but at this point in time, this last illusion should be able to clear up this Rax. Maybe not, still putting in the damage, and it is going to get taken down by a Vengeance, uh, Vengeful's Wave of Terror. Another illusion comes in, gets ensnared. He's going to face this Rax off. No! It lived with 8 HP. Virtus Pro holding on for dear life. Every engagement from now on has to be perfect, it feels like. Again, a tightrope walk for them. Oh god, more illusions. Dyer's Goodbye, Rax. Nope, backdoor protected. Doesn't matter. Dyer's They're gone. Mission accomplished for Kuroki. He goes mid with the illusions as well, Dyer's but again, backdoor protected. This attack. one, not going to be so easy. Invertus Pro posturing around Roshan. Well, f what do you do here now? Well... Secret are definitely in a commanding position at this point. Uh, they need... VP needs to get this Roshan, at the very least, for the Naga Siren, so that there's two lives. The AA ult is gonna come in. It's gonna actually hit all five members from VP and... Smoke of Deceit from Misery coming in. Earth Splitter, long range coming through. They back out of the Roach, but they know a bad fight when they see one, but they might posture for a re-engage. Mm, they actually used the Crimson Guard a bit early, I think. 
They might just... I think they're going to let this Melee Rex mid go. It's either Roche or this Melee Rex. They have to choose one. They might flank the side of Secret. What can they find here? Counter smoke from Virtus Pro. Big Daddy No Tail is a target. Not a big one, but it's something. They catch out Misery, maybe. Oh, and they see him. The smoke broke from Sedoi. Everyone blinks away. Top lane. It's time to peace out for Secret. Maybe not. BKB for both targets. BZZ does nothing there. S4 going to work. Now you can see Kroki just going to town. Illusions and himself with the metamorphosis. Tier 3 gone on the backside. Dakin proc somewhere. Glimpse on the G. Can't song. No, he does get it off. Static Storm still going. Kuroki. He does pick up the Vengeful Spirit. Now BKB pop for BZZ. Does it matter? Scotty, the right click. Kuroki brings him down. They're looking for Big Daddy. Don't tell us. Well, Yol, he's done next. Three down. GG is called. Secret. They even it up at 1-1 one, one apiece. Virtus Pro. It was a good try. G was getting close, but Kuroki S4, the rest of the squad, the supporting cast of Secret, too strong in this second game of a best of five series. Yep. I like Secret's draft a lot more in this game compared to the previous game. I think the Terrorblade was a really strong pick. Um, it gave them a nice timing.